Hello folks, uh, today we're going to figure out what this CSS Composes is. Okay, let's get started. This Composes is a part of the CSS modules. CSS modules is the concept. If it sounds unfamiliar to you, I would recommend checking it first. You can find a link to this GitHub page which describes the idea below in video description. For those who already know about CSS modules, uh, let's use a live example to learn how a CSS composition actually works. We're going to use Code Sandbox to run an example, so feel free to visit this project and play around with CSS composition. You will find the link right in the description below the video. So yeah, that's a simple React app. As you see, we already import module styles. Let's take a look. Here we have no composition for now. So let's get back to app.js and create few button elements. Okay, let's have three buttons. Cool. So, as you see, there, are, there is no button CSS class. Let's fix it. Uh, we go to styles and create a new class. Uh, let it be bold text, font size 20 pixels, uh, border radius, whatever, 6 pixels. Okay, cool. Now we can reload and see the result. Great. Uh, so right now we need to customize second and third button differently. Um, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, styles. Second. And we do the same for the third button. Great, um, go into styles, second, third, uh, I want the second one to be red, and third to be blue. Let's reload the app, cool, great, so right now we have three buttons, we use CSS modules. Two of them are colored differently. It's time to use CSS composition. So let's get back to styles and do it this way. Poses. Button. So what we do here, we extend second class with button styles. Right now I can get back and remove button class from here. And it should work. So as you see, it is working, but we only apply a second. Let's console log what we have in styles and see the mapped object. Okay, great. So you see we have this button, local scoped button class. We have third. And we have second one. So the second, as you see, it is a combination of two classes. So actually using composition is the same as what we did before when we manually had this styles button and styles second. Okay, let's do the same for the third one. Let's remove. You see, it's only blue. And third one is only one class. Let's get back to this file and compose button. Reload. Cool. So you see, that's great. So what actually happens? All we do is we just export two classes under the one keyword. That's it. So instead of writing 
styles.button styles.third we can write styles.third and that's it okay so let's try composition a little bit more uh, for example i want to create a class with shadow to add box shadow to pixels to pixels 15 black great so here is a class and we can do it this way with shadow awesome you see this shadow and here is the export for this second keyword you see we have second we have button and we have with shadow that's perfect let's do the same for the third one and reload cool it is working that's perfect okay so here is a github page and that's what it says about composition it's possible to compose selectors got it there can be multiple composes rules but composes rules must be before other rules hmm. okay Extending works only for local scoped selectors and only if the selector is a single class name. Hmm. Okay, let me show you what you can do. Let's say we have a global selector, which is global button. And it is like, um, whatever, border radius 200 pixels. Let's say we want second button to extend to be extended with global button let's try to do this so you see it's not found because this selector is global uh, we need to do it differently you can do it this way there is another way for it you can do it like this you see that's how it is allowed to use uh, global selectors what else what else you can do you can do it this way if you want to extend it should be single class name that's it you can do it this way that's what it said composition is only allowed when selector is single okay let's get back to documentation uh when a class name composes another class name, the CSS modules exports both class names for the local class. That's we already saw, but let's try it out again. Here is the console. Yeah, that's what we have. We have different classes exported under the one keyboard. That's great. It's possible to compose multiple classes. Okay, we also tried this. For example, third button. It uses button and it uses with shadow. I think it's great. We covered everything about composition. So you can see there is a little bit more. You can check how to compose from other files. Nothing complicated here. Just do it this way and composing from global class names we already tried this um, perfect 